It's super dark. Can we do anything? Can't see a thing. No, you're right, that is a huge issue. No power. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Gotta be a better way. Yeah, there must be. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to bend it. Can we set it on fire? No. Okay. This is fine. Entrance is blocked to one of those red dumpsters. Oh. Oh, it's this. Okay, so that's just to stop us getting up in the past, I guess. So we've got a metal pipe now. Can we use it on this drain? I don't know why we would, but... No, it's too heavy. Could we use it on the paint? You'd think that would work, but somehow it just doesn't. I... I probably wouldn't think... No, don't see the point. You're right, it's stupid. These are stupid ideas. They just keep on spinning. Can we can we bash this? No, good point. Can we bash it now? Yes. Don't know how that worked. A bone saw. You know what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. No, fair enough. And the police officer will notice if we do it here. Oh, the bars! The bars! And the manhole! The bars. Yes, obviously. Duh. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Come on, Joe. We're ploughing through. We're getting through this adventure. You and me. Me and Joe. 100 years, me and Joe. Me and Joe.com. Yes! Okay. Ooh, a syringe. Anything here in the past? Uh, future? Nope. Oh, so this is the drain part. Right. We can't set it on fire. There is nothing to set fire to, you're right. I know. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. Okay, so now we have a syringe. Oops. It's complicated, this time travel stuff. Right. How can we use a syringe to our advantage? Ooh, we could use it for the turpentine. I wonder if we could we could set that on fire, right? Would that make something like explosive? What am I trying to achieve? I need to get out of here, right? Can we turpentine the hornet's nest? No. Fine. We do need to get rid of that nest though. Hmm. So... What do we need to do? Open the garage? Or was that in the previous chapter? Is that not a thing anymore? I think it maybe isn't a thing anymore. Yeah, butcher shop. Okay. There's not really anything here, is there? What can we do with a syringe full of turpentine? It is a can of paint. A 
Must be some other way to use the turpentine. Yes, there must, mustn't there? <sighs> Can we inject these dudes? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just straight up no. Can we... <laughs> No, it doesn't make any sense, Joe. You're right. That's completely stupid. We have to get rid of this hornet's nest somehow. Oh. It's only giving me a spark. So that's, that's not going to work. I think that would work, but it doesn't... I mean, if we got rid of this tree thing in the past... Then that would stop the nest. But then how do we? Because there's nothing here. There's no like tree here. Oh gosh, blimey! We need to do something. Because the drain is directly below it, right? The drain is directly below the the nest. So we can do something from down there. Everything will be fine. Oh, it's so complicated. Oops. So it's in the future that it's a problem. So that's not going to work. I can set fire to. Oh, can I set fire to this stuff? Oh! Oh! Shibbles! Yes! <laughs> yes! Look at that! Okay, cool. Right. Oops. Pity sake. Come on, Joe. Uh, so now, in the future, there's no hornet's nest, right? Or well, they've all been like burned away. Yes, good, excellent. Can we go in? Take that, you striped murderers. Boom, we made it, in the hospital. Yeah, chapter five. <laughs> oh yeah, me and Joe. So here's the garage, so we are in the garage, yes. Good. Oh, obviously there's no power. We're in the future. Now the door is open. Ah, oh, careful. Careful, man. Oh, right, yeah, we have to attach wheels. And find the tools to finish the job. Okay. So we need... Oh, look, a tire iron. <laughs> How convenient. Office number A. Number A? Fucking good job, me. Today's date. May 17th. Hmm, not far. An upside down tree. Ah, oh, yeah, they kind of do look like upside down trees. And Joe, you're pretty smart. Oh. Oh. That's not what I expected to happen. <laughs> Scissors. Always useful. Okay. That's bad. We can use our car battery. Wow. Cool. I didn't think it'd work either. Oh, look, a key. Things are just going swimmingly, aren't they? Oh, there's a man there. Shit. There's a key in there. Why are there keys everywhere? No, don't go and talk to the man, Joe. That's rightly thought a bad idea. Okay. So... Right. 
I need to find where that little key goes. It's got to be somewhere cool where that key goes. Unless it goes into the... This room. No. Maybe not. Maybe not, dude. Oh, the cabinet? Maybe? <gasps> oh my god. It's him. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. This is him post blood loss. No address. Reginald Lambert. So I need to get to the cabinets to open the files to find out where he lives. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right, good. We need Reginald Lambert's address so we can find where he lived. So we can find out what's going on and find him before he died. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect fit. Got his address. Need the right number to find his. All right, file number. How am I gonna find the file number? Draws are stuck. Okay. So we need his file number. Oh, that's just the garage. Well, nothing else is gonna help us, is it? Okay, so we can't go back. So, whatever information we need is in... Can we go out this way? No, okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we need file numbers. File numbers, file numbers. Um, can we like pick this guy's pocket? Can we stab him with the scissors? Murder? No. No, okay, you're right. Yeah, that is kind of unsettling, isn't it? Do you have any keys on him though? Can we go down? No, there isn't a down. Oh, that's the, the dude's... Did his thing not have a, a number on it? His tag? Not have a number? Is that not his file number? Oh, can I cut it off? Yes, now we have his file number. Okay, making good progress. We'll be saving the future present world in no time. I like this because I kind of feel like I am Joe. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to survive and and do what I'm supposed to, you know? So, tire iron this. Car is now in full working order for our fabulous escape. I just need the files. need his address. Reginald Lambert's address. Yes. Oh, yes. Won't they know that I'm going to his address? Because they seem to know that he's important. Oh well. That's a worry for later. <laughs> Worst comes to us, we'll just escape to the future, hide for a bit. Off we go, you know? Piece of cake. Yes. Yes, Joe. Oh. Out on the road. Everything seems so normal. Same moon. Same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. Is it? How could Lambert have survived, though? He came from the future. How did he not die along with everybody else? Good point. Good point, Joe. I'd have thought of that. Now I'm driving out to talk to him a lot. How does that work? Freaking time travel, man. Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies?
pieces of me all over the place now. Oh, that would be so cool. But also kind of weird and freaky. What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Well, you might as well try, because you're all going to die anyway. These will be my last days. Along with everybody else's. Jeez, Joe, lighten up. Cheer up, man. No. At least you're trying. I better just not think about it and carry on. Good lad. He's a strong guy. He's made of tough I stuff, is gas. Joe. Oh god, I hope so. I hope I gas. God, so why? Jesus. I mean, it's not like you can stop and fill up an ambulance wherever, and people won't be like, um... Did you steal an ambulance? Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Danger, croc. Crocodiles? What? Oh, trophy. Cool. 